Martin Colony is one of the coolest Minecraft 1.19 mods is out and let's go ahead and download and install it. Basically what this mod does by the way is add in all sorts of cool buildings that you can build out in Minecraft. They have NPCs attached to them, all sorts of stuff. This is a Mine Colonies Village. Look at that. So much awesome stuff that you can do with this mod. All these different sorts of buildings and, and, and chips and everything that you can add. Really, really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right on into it. First things first, we need to download Mine Colonies. I'll say at the front end that Mine Colonies has way too many mods that it requires. We're talking five total mods if you include Mine Colonies just to get this one mod installed. So Let's jump through them. First things first, we need Mine Colonies. All these mods, including Mine Colonies, are linked in the description down below. I'm going to lose track as to what number we're on, so just know everything is in the description down below. Once you're on the download page for all of these mods, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and then download the 119 version of Mine Colonies by clicking the Download File button there. Now then go ahead and start the download, right like so, and we're going to repeat this process now for the next mod. By the way, you may need to keep these or save them in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Save them in the center of your screen on on Mozilla Firefox. 100% safe to do that for all the mods we're downloading here. Next up is Structurize, required for Mine Colonies. Come to the right-hand side, scroll down to the 119 version, and download Structurize 119 by clicking that button. Well, that's downloading. How about a mess of our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Host? You can go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. You can add Mine Colonies to your Minecraft server if you would like, but you can also add over 200 mod packs with one-click installation at Apex. We also have 24-hour, seven-day week support should you have any issues, and we love to stay back so much that we host all of our our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting. So go check them out at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. It's our very own Minecraft server. And if the last structure is downloaded, we need Multi Piston as well. Again, link down below. Come to the right hand side, scroll down to the 119 version, and then click the download link. It will begin downloading after a few seconds where you guessed it, you may need to keep or save the file. And Block UI, another one we need for, as you can see, Mine Colonies. Come to the right hand side, scroll down, click the download button under the 119 version, and the download will begin after a few seconds. You're starting to get this, but we're still Still not done after Block UI because we need one more mod, Dominion Ornamentum, which is uh, very, very good at mispronouncing. But come to the right hand side, you guessed it, right here, Minecraft 119 section. Click the download button on the 119 section and the download will begin after a few seconds. Finally, that's everything you need. All five mods are downloaded and there's still one thing we need to download. Forge. Forge is how all of these mods, my colonies, and all of the compatibility mods it needs work with Minecraft. So Forge here is in the description down below, of course. And once you're here, this is our in-depth text tutorial for getting Forge, but click the Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. On this page, you want to make sure that Minecraft 119 is selected. For this specific video, we're at 119.1, but this installation process will work exactly the same once 119.2 is updated. Let's come here to the installer, click on that, and that will take us off to add focus where don't click anything on this screen whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on the screen. Just wait about 10 seconds and then in the top right a red skip button will appear. Click that red skip button. In the bottom left Forge 1.19.1 will download. As you can see Forge is downloading. As long as Forge is in the title it's 100% safe to keep or save the file. You may also need to save it in the same screen on Mozilla Firefox. We can now minimize our browser and let's drag and drop all of these mods and everything to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you have all of these mods. It's kind of insane. Let's move them to our desktop and once they're on our desktop, let's do some organizing. So first off, we want to get Mine Colonies and Structurize over there. Forge, I want to separate from the mods because Forge is actually what we're going to be starting with and there is the rest of the mods. So we have all of our mods over here that we need to install Mine Colonies and we have Forge. To get started, we're going to work with Forge. To do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java or my icons don't look like yours. I don't have these Java icons. Well, both of those are fixed by getting Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods in 1.19.2. This tutorial covers everything you need to know to get Java 17. It's all covered here. It goes over every single step. It's super in-depth. And once you have Java 17, you should be able to open up Forge. You may still need to run the jar fix, though, so you can go check this out in the description down below. And this is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Forge, making them work happily together. So go check this out and run the jar fix if your icons are still uh, weird after you download Java 17. Nonetheless, we can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK to open up the Forge mod system installer. Here just click on install client, click OK, and then Forge is now going to install. The only reason this won't install is if you've not ran the version of Minecraft 1.19 that you are installing Forge for. For example, you need to go play Minecraft 1.19.1 in order for this to work and install properly. 
may also have issues if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open when you're installing Forge. If that's the case, close out of both of those and come back and reinstall Forge. Nevertheless, once it is successfully installed, it will come up and say this, where you can click OK and close out of the Forge installer. You can also delete Forge from your desktop. So now we can go ahead, open up the Minecraft launcher, and you should have this uh, Forge installation here. Now, as you can see, mine's automatically selected. If yours isn't, you can probably select it by clicking the arrow and selecting it from this menu. However, if Forge isn't here, specifically the 119 version of Forge that you want isn't listed under that, come to installations. Now, if you don't see Forge here, make sure modded is selected. You can see we select modded. There it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or the version of 119 Forge you want here, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Forge for mine colonies because uh, after all, that is what we're installing here. Um, I'm probably misspelled that. But anyway, nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and click the release drop down here, the version drop down. And we want to select release 119.1 forge here. Right here it is. So we want to make sure this is selected. Boom, right like so. I'm also going to change our resolution. We don't need to do that, but I'm doing that just so we can see once we get in game that everything is working and uh, looking good. Better for recording, basically, is that resolution. Most important part is making sure this is release 119 Forge here. Click Create in the bottom right, and now we have this Forge for Mine Colonies, and it is the correct version of Forge. We can click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft will open up. The hard part's done. The hardest part of getting Mine Colonies is probably, one, downloading all the mods it needs. It's a lot. Two is installing Forge and getting that set up. So Forge is now set up, and from this point on, it's as simple as uh, dragging and dropping some files, basically. So from the Minecraft main menu here, what we want to do is go ahead and click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that's from the main menu. Click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Then we want to drag and drop all of these mods. It's going to be Structurize, Multi-Piston, Mine Colonies, Dominum, Ornamentum, and Block UI. All of these, all five of them, must be in your Mods folder for this to work. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, they're not going to be here. You need to click Done, quit the game, and then reopen up the Minecraft launcher here. Then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to play Minecraft with our Forge 1.19 profile. As you can see, here it is. It's all good to go. So we can click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Mine Colonies installed. It's that simple and that easy to get the Mine Colonies mod once you have Forge. Like I said, the hardest part is downloading the, all the mods and then getting Forge set up. Super easy to install Mon Colonies after that. And once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, we can easily see that these are installed by clicking on the Mods tab. And there they are, all are. Dominum Ornamentum, Structurize, UI a Library, which is Block UI, Multi-Piston, and Mine Colonies. They are all here. Insane. So there we go. That is how you can install Mine Colonies. But what about checking this out in game real quick? Well, I've never been that great with this mod. I'll just be honest with you. But we are going to go ahead and check it out because uh, why not? So we'll name this Mine Colonies. Truthfully, I, I have this thing where I have some uh, some mods. Uh, wait, what? These are experimental. That should be fine. Uh, I have this thing where I will create worlds for some mods, learn a mod really in depth when I do that, and then use the mod world over and over and over again. I probably do that in Mine Colonies. It's probably a good idea to do that. But I've not done it yet, so we're just kind of winging it here. We'll see you in-game. So we went ahead and uh, switched to a super flat world just because it's easier to place this stuff in a flat terrain. But uh, you can see a, I think this is a supply camp here. We've also got another supply camp here, as well as a, uh, you know, a, is that a town hall? I don't know exactly what that one is. But uh, you can see some of the cool stuff that you can place. Uh, I've not leveled up my town at all, but uh, we can see here, here is a mechanic sort of area. But if we go ahead and hit this, we can see all the different designs. There are so many different ones. And levels as well. For example, a level 5 mechanics hut here. You can rotate it, all sorts of cool stuff, and move it around. And then when you can place these, you can uh, just hit the... Boom, right there. As you can see, we don't have a town hall. I think things are a little messed up there because I didn't build these in survival. I built them in uh, creative. But nonetheless, there you go. There is Mine Colonies, and there is Prove It's Working. I really like this supply hut. I think that's really, really cool. But nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible modded Minecraft tutorials. I am out. Peace.